What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? It is day nine of our book club. So for those of you who have your books, um, you know, day nine is about detoxing. And we're not talking necessarily about the physical, but sometimes you got to detox people. Sometimes you have to detox feelings. So for day nine, it's to make a list. From the greatest to the least, 10 things that you need to detox from your life. And again, this is going to be a quick one today. It might not even be two minutes long. Because, again, I think that's personal. I'm not necessarily going to share. I can share some of what I'm going to detox or what I know I need to detox. Um, but, again, it's when you, you know, I think people hear detox and they automatically think of something like drugs or whatever. But, again, sometimes you just need to, you may need to detox people. Maybe there's some people in your life that you know are not positive people. I've had that before where I've had people that I knew I needed to detox out of my life. But... It was easier to just ignore them or easier to just, you know, deal with them. But you sometimes it's hard to purge some a person out of your life and out of your space. But you need to, right? Um, I probably need to, if I was going, I need to detox doubt. That's one thing I put out there is doubt. I need to detox doubt. I get in my head about stuff all the time and I question, I second guess, I come up with all the reasons why I shouldn't do something or why something won't work or why something isn't a good idea. Um, and I deal with a lot of doubt. So I will put that on the list. I'm not saying it's the first thing at the, on the list, but I will put that on the list. So think about some things that you might need to detox. And I think I'm not going to be able to do a live until this weekend. Um, maybe we want to just talk specifically about the book and where we are. As we, well, we're not halfway. We'll be approached. We're, we're day now. We're getting closer to the halfway mark. By Saturday or Sunday, we'll be at the halfway mark. So maybe we can do a live this weekend dealing with the halfway mark. I'll schedule it when I know a little bit better what my weekend schedule looks like. And let's see if we could just have a, a live that's just about the book and talking about the book. And I might be able to get in touch with Janine and see if she's available during that time. So anyway, you guys have a great day. I hope that those of you that are following along are getting something out of it. And yeah, let's try to talk this weekend about it. I'm going to try to do that. Don't forget about the giveaway. Don't forget about the giveaway. Okay? All right.